Here's a little look back at Spring Pest as I kick off my 2024 Spring Decorating Series, starting in our family room. Hey, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel. So this is what our room looked like yesterday. Here's what it looks like today. Do you notice anything different? I did end up painting the wall back to white, and I know that might disappoint a few of you, but let me tell you why I did it. So I loved having this entire back wall be retreat. It was a dramatic focal point. It cozied up the room, it warmed it up, and this room needed it because it does have a lot of white going on in here. But now that spring is almost here and summer before we know it, I wanted to lighten and brighten again. But I didn't want to let go of all of the green. So I left the wall of the retreat and just painted the fireplace back to white. So I still have a really pretty contrast and I feel like I have the best of both worlds. So not only did the fireplace get a paint refresh, today we're going to give it a spring refresh. And unfortunately, that means saying goodbye to the canvas that I've had up there for quite some time. In its place, I will be adding a print, a very colorful print that I found at Home Goods. I shared it with you last week in my spring decor haul video and I'm really excited to see what it looks like up there. What do you think? I really like it. I think the size is good. It's adding color back that I just took away. The green in it ties in beautifully with the retreat wall. And it's just a really pretty spring view. You've got the water, the trees, the flowers. I think it's going to be perfect for this time of year. With the print in place, now I can add something to each side. But just for fun, let's do it two different ways and you can tell me which way you like it better. First, we'll go with my signature symmetrical style. Then we'll switch it up a tiny bit and go with an asymmetrical look. I'm just going to use the coffee table as my little workspace to create simple floral arrangements to add to each end. Here's what I'll be using. I found two of these at Michael's. This pretty faux eucalyptus is also from Michael's. And I'm pretty sure I found this last year at Dollar General. And these are the vases that I'll be using. I've had these for several years. I'm pretty sure I found them at Tuesday morning. This is a really simple arrangement to make. Just place the eucalyptus in the vase first and then layering the florals right on top and mixing it all together. Got the florals in place. I need to tweak them a little bit though, but I love how they frame the print. And if you look closely, the petals there almost mimic those that are in the print. And while I do love the arrangements, I feel like it's missing a little something to give it a bit more height. So let me try something. Okay, I only have two, so this might have to be a temporary fix until I can get more but I added this taller grass right down in the middle to give the arrangements a little bit of height, but I really like how the grass ties in with the grass that's going on in the print as well. Now I could leave the mantle just like this with the two arrangements on each end, the print in the middle, and that's it. But I wanna add a little something right in the middle. So I think I'm going to add a couple of these this little fella, and a couple of these. All right, when I take a step back and look at this, it's cute. I 
could leave it like this. However, I think you'll agree with me that it just needs a little something something. So let's fix it. I recently found this garland that I have cut into two pieces. I think I'm able to link it below, but I love how wispy it is and how dainty it is. And of course, we have to add a little pop of color. And then I could even add in a little bit of candlelight. And speaking of light, I forgot to mention the best part in case you missed my video last week. The eggs light up. How pretty is that? So what do you think of this look? It's very symmetrical. You've got your florals on each end balancing the print. And then in the middle, you've got your bunnies and your eggs with the garland turned grass. And I love how it's almost an extension of the print. Like the bunnies are playing in the grass. Then you've got your candles at each end, again, for balance and symmetry. But then you've got your candles or your, your light in the middle from the eggs. And I love their reflection. You also have the colorful eggs to balance with the pink florals at each end as well. So this is one look if you are a huge fan of symmetry. But if you prefer more of an asymmetrical look, let me make one little change. I'm simply gonna take the floral on this side away, along with the candles. And in its place, I'm going to add a book. And two taller candles. And then to tie it together a little bit on this end, I'm gonna add a book here as well. And this is your asymmetrical look. You've got the candles on one side, balanced by the larger floral on the other, but I left everything in the middle the same. However, I did take the two candles, like I mentioned, away on each end. But looking at this, I'm gonna make one more switch. I'll be right back. Okay, so I switched the candles with the floral, and can you take a guess why I did that? Well, it's because the bulk of the greenery in the print is on the left side. So if you're just gonna have one floral, I felt like having it over here was crowding it a little bit, visually. But if I place the floral on this side, now it's apart from each other. There's a little bit of balance, so I've kind of snuck in some symmetry, however, it looks a bit more asymmetrical. So having said that, which look do you prefer? The asymmetrical look or this? A more symmetrical look, you've got balance on each end. I think you know which one I prefer, but I am curious which one you like better. Now that we're done with the mantle, I need to do something with the hearth. In addition to cleaning the fireplace glass, but I am not up for that challenge today, so let's just try to ignore all the spots over here. 
In fact, I have the perfect way to hide them. There you go. Maybe now you'll focus on the chair and not the spots. And then how about we cozy it up a bit with a simple throw and a weeping bunny pillow. Once again, I like how the florals in the pillow tie in with those in the print. I could do something over on that side, but I think for now I'm going to leave it empty only because I've got such a large chair right there. Visually, I don't want to crowd it up too much, but knowing me, that could change. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today as I styled our spring mantle, which I will probably make more changes to. I'll be back next week to continue decorating our home for spring. I would love your company then. I'd also really appreciate it if you would consider giving this video a thumbs up maybe sharing it with a friend or even subscribing to my channel. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.